Hi, it's Dee from Simply Dee Beauty. In today's video, I want to share with you some items I recently purchased from Armani Beauty. And it's part of their new collection, the Neo Nude Collection. And I'm really excited to try because anything that is light coverage, new, neutral, always caught my attention. Except red lipstick or orange lipstick, but that's, that's another story. But in general, I like makeup that is neutral looking and light, especially now in the summer. It's really hot here in South Florida. It's... Um, 80, 90 degrees and very humid at times. In general, I love Armani. Everything that I tried from Armani Beauty, I like personally. So I am very excited and anxious to try these products. So I got a few items. I got the the new True to Skin Natural Glow Foundation. I also got the new new nude melting color bomb for cheeks and eyes i am very curious about this because you can use it for both eyes and cheeks so it's very versatile i like that and i also got the highlighter bronzer and and blush yes it's a blush a bronzer and a highlighter i want to swatch all of these in the back of my hand i purchased a bunch of a few of their lip maestros and lip power I am going to swatch those in, in a separate video because I don't want this video to be too long. But I also got for free, I'm not sure if it was in this order with a new nude or with the, the lip products. But I got for free this uh, mini like, I don't think it's mini, I think it's a full size uh, lip product. And I also got this for the eyes. So I'm just going to play around with these and see how they perform. So let's start with the foundation, the Neo Nude True to Skin Natural Glow Foundation. I got it in the shade, it says 3 in the back, but I don't know if that's just, um, you know, the shade. And it's 12 months shelf life and it is made in France. So let's start with that. I like the packaging. Very simple and straightforward. And let's just squirt it out in the back of my, oops, ooh, I barely had to push it. Let me put a little bit. I'm going to have a little bit more because I know it's very light, so I need to spread it all over my face. I already have a moisturizer that I use as a primer, so my face is set. And this is the way it looks behind in the back of my hand. Um, I think it's a little bit, maybe a little bit too yellow for me, but let's see. So I'm going to just put it all over the skin. Let me do one side first. And then I'm going to use my A Cosmetics brush. So this is one light coat. You see one side and then you can see the other. It does give me a very light coverage. It doesn't cover like every little thing on my face, but it is very light just the way that I like it. It's very, it's, you can see my skin, it looks very natural. Natural. <laughs> and I like it. I like it so far. You know, this is the, well, I don't know if you know, but this is the type of foundation that I like. So let me, I, I'm going to go back for a second coat for sure. Now let me do the left side. Okay, so this is how it looks now on my whole face. I usually don't do this, but I'm going to go back and try a second quote. Because it, it is very light. I like that. It's perfect for summer because it's very light. Now it says on the package to name that it's a true to skin natural glow foundation. It is true to skin, but I don't see it too glowy. At least not yet. Okay, so there you go with two coats so technically technically and it wasn't completely on purpose but this video is going to be complete it's going to be a full face armani which is fine armani is one of my favorite um makeup brands actually at the moment okay concealer is on and now let's get with the other items i'm gonna start with the bronzer i'm a little bit nervous because i've never tried a bronzer like this and this is the packaging it's a contour product. I don't do contour, but I'm just gonna apply it where I normally just apply my bronzer. And let me swatch it in the back of my hand. Ooh. I'm gonna see how this plays out. Oh, it's very, it blends nicely. So I'm gonna do this before I apply the bronzer just in case. I'm gonna get my Chantecai, a what's it called? Buff and Bluff? Buff and Blur. I'm just gonna swirl it a little bit in case you haven't seen it this is the armani powder it does come with an applicator but i don't usually use those type of applicators so i leave it inside so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna pow powder just a little bit here under my eye maybe some here on my forehead i don't have uh, oily skin but uh, just to set in my my concealer i'm going to apply it right here just a few dots where i usually apply a uh, bronzer and i'm going to start with my finger It doesn't seem 
too dark which is good because if I mess up especially someone like me that doesn't have is not very skilled in bronzing and all that um, but it's it's very light because it blends in really nicely with with the skin so let me put just a little bit more and then some here on the forehead and it doesn't dry up really fast so you have time to work it out and then I'm gonna just get a, a sponge and then just blend it in let me get my elf sponge pounce it just a little bit like that I don't know I'm not a huge fan of the shade or like how it comes out at the end and it's easy to use it's very blendable and it just blends in with the skin but it doesn't really offer a lot of payoff and then it's a little bit too i don't know how to say it because i don't want to say it wrong and misleading but it's like a little bit and in person it looks okay but then when i look at the camera the, at the monitor it's a little bit like grayish is that what you're seeing let me know in the comments below if that's what you see if it's like a little bit gray or not but in person it doesn't look like i have much contour on so i don't know if i'm a big fan i'm gonna have to put on more let me know as well in the comments if you've purchased this product if you used it and what is your thought about them if, if maybe i'm doing it wrong and it's not like acting up the foundation is is perfectly fine it's not doing nothing to the foundation it's just very light which is which is good it's fine but i don't i think i have to do it like three or four times to get any payoff and if you're a darker skin you're gonna have even a harder time to make it work and i don't remember they had a darker shade but you know it's it's fine it's not like totally bad it's not like i'm not gonna throw it away right now or anything i'm gonna i'm gonna use it for sure because it does blend nicely with the skin and it does look natural so i guess that's what they're trying to accomplish if that's what they're trying to accomplish then yeah then then this contour product is doing its job so it does give me a little bit of kind of like that suntan look i'm gonna get more and apply more on my forehead because nothing happened there and now i'm gonna use the blush that comes in the little tube this is it's called a blush and this is the packaging very similar to the contour and i'm going to swatch in the back of my hand it's like a little bit coral but if it's the same as the bronzer then i'm gonna have the same issue i'm gonna probably have to use a lot to get any payoff on my cheeks so this one has some color so let's see actually since i'm not going anywhere today i'm gonna get the neo nude um melting color bomb cheeks and eyes i'm gonna put some on the cheeks or in one side this one's really pigmented because i did swatch it i'm just gonna apply like that on my cheek on one side and then i'll, I'll do the other one on the other side look at that that's really pigmented and see if they what's the difference which side is better which product is better because maybe this is just a milieu for the eyes so it's not that bad it's pretty pigmented and it just melts really nicely on the skin that i have to say i might apply a little bit too much or maybe too too low on my cheeks but i don't think it looks that bad so now let me do the other cheek but with this product and see how that comes out yeah that's when i could tell it's not as pigmented It is different. It's very light, very subtle, but it gives like this hue, is the word, like this sunny hue glow on the cheeks. I actually like this product better than this one for that. I'm not saying it's bad, and I did apply a little bit too low than what I should have, but taking that out of the equation, this side, although very light, it looks like more natural. But they're both very pretty. I could even use them together, if anything. I usually do this on top of my nose just to give this sensation <laughs> that I got sun kissed. So I always put some on my nose like that. I think so far so good. It looks like really natural. And I apologize. I'm looking a lot to the monitor because I'm trying to see how you guys see it. So now let's go into the highlighter. And it's just called up a highlight. Let me swatch it first and then I'll apply in the back of my hand. I mean, I'll apply it on my face. So it's it's not that pigmented it's right here mm -hmm. yeah there is some highlight there but not a lot so I'm just gonna apply it right here where I normally apply highlighter and just apply some here get that brush on the other side what do you guys think so far if you're looking for that no makeup makeup look 
or that very natural look especially for summer because it's very light i honestly tell can tell you that i don't feel i feel like i have nothing on it's very light and a little refreshing it was hot today and, and i got home and i showered and and i needed this like it's so refreshing and it's so light on the skin and it looks so natural yes it's not very pigmented and maybe you have to work a little bit more to get some pigment on your face but i think that is the point of of this collection and i like it i like that about it it looks very natural i applied this already on my cheeks but let me apply it on my on one eye oh i didn't swatch it like i should have swatched it it's very soft very creamy here it is very very creamy it doesn't really match the free product that i got so i might leave that product for another video because it really doesn't match although it's really pretty actually but it doesn't match what i want to do today that is very pretty it has some shimmer and it's like a pretty purple mauve but then when you move it depending on the light it does change like to pink it is gorgeous actually but i'm just gonna think i'm gonna stick with this and then i'll leave that for another video if that is something that interests you please let me know in the comments below and i'll definitely use it in a future video but for now let me use this orange beautiful shade uh which is in the shade 30 it doesn't give me the name and it's 24 24 months shelf life by the way and the other products are i believe i believe they're the printing is really small but i think it's 12 month shelf life and then this one is 12 24 months i got some in the back of my finger i'm just gonna use it just straight up use only that shade because i have a feeling it's not gonna be like too crazy what i could do is i could apply it all over the lid and then i could get like a, a shimmer like a single eyeshadow from another brand i don't have armani eyeshadow so i could get a single eyeshadow from dior or a single eyeshadow from chantikai and use it as a shimmer or you could just leave it like that let me try that let me try i think when i use a dior it's this one it is the Monarch color couture 530 tool satin which is a gorgeous like a champagne color i think it's gonna be perfect for like the inner lid right here i mean it, you could use this whatever way you want whatever way you you think it's best there you go it's really pretty i'm gonna do it now on the other eye and i'm gonna use a another shimmer uh, a single eyeshadow i'm gonna use the one from chantikai just to give you a different perspective this is implant i just thought about this i think i'm gonna do which is the one that I'm thinking? Giraffe? Or is it a lion? I think it's the lion. And I call it the lion. It has a, sh a name. It's called Golden Copper. <laughs> but I call it the lion because it's the animal outside. And that's how I remember them. I don't remember the, the shades of the other ones. Okay, yeah. This is the one I'm thinking of. It's gorgeous. Beautiful. One of my favorite, if not my favorite, single eyeshadows. So let me do that one. I'm going to do that shade, the new nude. I'm going to do it on the left eye. And then I'm going to apply the Chantecaille single eyeshadow. The things I wanted to mention is that it is matte because there's no there's no shimmer to it. But there's also a creaminess, a creaminess to it. Which makes it so easy to work with. There's no definitely no fallout. They're not like pressed powders. It's like a, a mix between a powder and a cream. Now I'm going to go with the uh, line. See it's definitely different. You know what, I'm just going to go all over the lid like that. So then I went all over the lid just to give you like a different perspective. And then here I just did the inner half. I'm going to get a fluffy brush, my Scott Barnes number 62. It's my go-to fluffy brush. And I'm just going to fluff here the rough edges. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab that highlighter and apply it here on the brow bone. And some here in the inner corner. All I have left is my pinky. <laughs> it's my only clean finger and my thumb. But I'm going to use my pinky. And it's not a lot. It's not a lot of shimmer. But it's just an extra pop. And again, it melts in so nicely on the skin. Into the skin. That it looks natural. Which side do you prefer? This side or this side? I'm like undecided because they're both so, so pretty so now let me apply mascara which is not new but i'm gonna apply mascara really quickly and come back and do the lips okay mascara is done so now let's go into the lips now the lip that i showed you at the beginning is pink so i'm not gonna use it for this video but i'm gonna go with one of the ones that i got recently i haven't swatched this one yet so it's gonna be new for me this is the uh, armani lip maestro in the shade 
418. Um, it looks really bright on the camera. Because I have another orange, but um, I want to try this one. Let's see. Because I haven't used this one yet. So there you go. It's more pigmented than I planned, but it's a beautiful color. And it's a beautiful formula. It's very creamy. It feels so good. Normally for a natural look, I would go for like a very natural, more lighter shade. But I just wanted to have that extra pop of color. And I think it's beautiful. I think it's gorgeous. I love orange reds. Those are my favorite, favorite shades. I think overall the makeup is is really really perfect it's really really beautiful so what do you guys think i love everything that i tried today the contour i had to use it a little bit more obviously you saw that but everything else like it just blends in really nicely with the skin it looks very natural it just gave me this kind of this hue of sunshine in my face which is perfect it's what i'm looking for very natural looking it's perfect for the summer and the the balm for the eyes is really, really pretty. I don't think I'll use it for the face, but for the eyes, I will continue using. So I think overall, it looks really, really pretty. And I do have um, a few more shades of the Lip Maestros and the Lip Power that I could share with you. So if this is something that you want to see, I could dedicate a video just on the lip swatching of all the Lip Maestros that I have and Lip Powers. I have three Lip Powers, if I'm not mistaken, three or four. And then I have a few of the Lip Maestros, which is just beautiful, beautiful lip products. If that is something that interests you, please let, let me know in the comments below. So yes, this is my video for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't done so already and i'll see you in my next video bye